Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. So um, I wanted to talk about basically a tweet that Tashina Arnold put out. Now, for the most part, most of y'all know who Tashina Arnold is. Now, I'm going to break down everything and I'm you know, and i going to respond to what I know some of you guys going to put in the, the you know, comment section because I know how you dudes love to try to play devil's advocate when it comes to these, you know, particular subjects. Yeah, but I remember when, you know, so, and I'm going to respond to that. Okay, but like I said, most of y'all know who Tashina Arnold is. Tashina Arnold played the iconic character, sidekick of uh, Gina, Martin Lawrence, uh, basically girlfriend that went on to become his wife on the show. She was she one of the most iconic sidekicks in the history of uh, black television. And she was on the show pretty much from beginning to end. And also Tashina Arnold is a, is a singer. And she's been in the she's been in the industry for over 30 years. I remember she was on a on a soap opera. You know, I forgot what soap opera it was. I think it was called Ryan's Hope, I think. Some something like that. But it was a it was a 30-minute show. It used to come on, I think, after General Hospital or something. And no, I didn't watch soap operas. My mama did, but you know, at the end of the day you still remember it. But nevertheless. Um, and she's done things since um, Martin. She's she's basically continued to work. She was on the show a few years ago called uh, uh, Survivor's Remorse, and she was married to uh, boxer Layman Brewster, who defeated in an upset uh, Vladimir Klitschko. He uh, stopped him. So you know she was married to him for a little while, but she's continued to work so she's still around like i said she's been in the industry for over 30 years so i think i will take what she says at not face value but high value and she basically was talking about hey um can we please stop emasculating black men and of course she caught hell and high water from just everybody pretty much from the black feminazi movement to the you know the duncan hines brigade you know the duncan hines and you know what i mean by that you know moist brigade about this isn't even an issue uh, well it is an issue and you see in response videos because at the end of the day she's an actress she knows what's going on and they talked about this. I remember that show called uh, White Famous. And they talked about that, the whole thing about black men wearing the dress and all that kind of stuff. And boy, did they cancel that show after one season. And I think that show Black Famous revealed a lot of things in Hollywood that was going on. But to say that they don't try to emasculate the black man, that's just a fucking lie. I've seen it with my own eyes. I mean, and they trying to what they trying to do is turn a black man from masculine to, you know, uh, you know, Twinkie-ish. Or uh, hostess, you know, with the fruit filling. Me, myself, let's just call it what it is, straight shaming. That's pretty much when you try to emasculate a black man, it's, you, you're trying to straight shame and she spoke on that. And like I said, she got it from, from everybody. The black feminazis. And I, I'm sorry, I just gotta say that some of y'all black women is full of shit and it just need to be said. A lot of y'all don't want no masculine black men. You like a dude that go to work, said, hey man, I would like to do this with you and I would like to do this with you, but I can't because I have to ask my wife and she won't let, see y'all like them kind of dudes. Y'all like them kind of dudes where they make you feel like you the one that's wearing the pants, that you are the one that got the, and, and I'm gonna be a little graphic, that got the dick and balls. 
that's why you don't have no problem when you see uh, images of black men wearing dresses. Because you feel like you should be wearing, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't want no chick like that. I don't want no chick that thinks she can outman me. And you could call it sexist and all that kind of shit, but I can make an argument that you're the real ones that's really sexist and misogynistic. You say you, you, you are equal when it comes to certain things, but then at the same time, when it comes time to show that you are equal, then you want to holler about, oh, you're a woman. Oh, you're not supposed to say this to a woman. You're not supposed to do that to a woman. But then you say you're, you know, you know, you're my equal. And in reality, to a certain degree, you're not. There's always been this thing, this movement to go against manhood, or should I say black manhood? Because pretty much we the only ones from our community where it's been set in stone and it's been programmed and manipulated to where they want our women to be the leaders of the household. Just like this thing with what Joe Brown did with that bed winch, Katanji Brown. The only reason why he nominated her because she got a white husband. And then you saw that racist article that the New York Post put out saying should black women, more black women consider marrying white men, which was blatantly racist. Blatantly racist. Blatantly racist article. Like I said before, you look on TV, they not, for the most part, they not acting you know what I'm saying, iconic or, you know, what you would call, they used to call them hunks. They're not asking the white dudes to put on dresses and all that kind of stuff and play certain type of roles. Nah, they only asking the black dudes to do it, for the most part. Now, every once in a while, when you start calling this out, then every every once in a while, they may find a, a white or a non-black dude who's just going to do it. But they're not trying to force this down people's throat like they trying to force it down the black community. So like I said, I understand completely what she was saying because at the end of the day, I get tired of it. Look at this shit that they doing with Dwayne Wade and his son. That I mean, that is just the most, I mean, this stuff that's going on with Dwayne Wade and his son or, or whatever the case may be, it's just, it, it's just like, man, and I'm just keeping it 100. The more and more I see Dwayne Wade, I just lose respect for him every day. And as far as Gabrielle Union go, you don't even want me to speak on what I think of Gabrielle Union. That's just real talk. And then I know it's going to be somebody that's going to come up here, but why are you worried about what's going on? Because they are presenting it to the world. They are presenting that to our community. And whether we want them to be part of our community or not, they're attaching that to our community. And I'm gonna say this right now. I don't have no problem with people that live an alternative lifestyle. I really don't. But at the same time, you don't have to like try to, you know, force feed that to me. It don't have to be in my face every time I look around. Because everything is has overkill to it. That's just real talk, and it's it's overkill now. But when you start trying to make other people feel ashamed because they're 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 straight and they're heterosexual, I got a problem with that. Because now you looking around, you seeing seeing these these weirdo ass niggas with full blown beards walking around with 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 long nails and all it and, and high heels on and all this just randomly walking in public like like damn though and got on lipstick and all that kind of stuff it's like man what 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 what, what, what is this 
I'm just, I, I'm just like, damn. So, at the end of the day, you, I don't have to, I don't have to accept that. I don't. It's, but like I said, I may respect it, but it don't mean that I have to, res I, I, I have to, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you force feeding it to me, it's pissing me off. And when you're trying to make me feel guilty about looking a certain way versus you looking a certain way, yeah, I got a problem with that. And yeah, you damn right, I'm going to have something to say about it. Because like I said before, you you seeing it on TV, you seeing seeing it in the public, you just see you you're just seeing that r randomly, and then they looking at you like something is wrong with you. If you like, hey, I just want to look like a normal brother. Okay, and if I'm uh, I'm I'm a young man, or if I'm a father and I'm raising my child to to, to be a certain way, okay, well. To me, you sort of like interfering with my development in the raising of my my child, or you know, basically my son or my daughter. When I see you looking a certain way, I don't have to. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to like that. And that's the problem with with that community. They act like whatever they say is the gospel. That you have to accept anything that they say and do. Like you can't disagree with them. And then if they say something that you say that you may disagree with, then they say, oh, you're this, you're that. No, I'm just saying that I disagree with that. And I don't have to accept it. I don't. Does that mean I'm going to mistreat you or, or, or want to cause harm to you? No, I'm just saying, hey. Um, you need to respect how I am and how I feel about the situation. And that's the problem. You got one group of people just trying to force their way and force the way that they live on everybody else. And telling, and telling you that you have to accept it, but at the same time, they making you try to feel guilty about who you are and what you believe in. The same way you have your beliefs, I have my beliefs. And this just needed to be said. And I understand completely what Tashina Arnold is saying. Like, damn, enough of this shit. I get it. I really do. So I am in agreement with Tashina Arnold. If you want to look a certain way, then okay, well, I guess do you. But at the same time, don't try to make me feel guilty about how I want to look, how I see things. The way you see the world in your eyes doesn't mean I have to have that same vision. I'm just saying. Anyway, it's your boy Tail Biz, man. I'm out.